Well, hello, everyone. Miss Gretchen with Rubies and Moonstones. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you like it here and would consider subscribing. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. I really do greatly appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so very much. As you can see, Today, I am very happy to share with you my post review of Magic Roses by Unovia Art and Diamond Art Club. Whew, I finally got it done. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> this has been such a large project. Um, so I will kind of scan it up from top to bottom here. I absolutely love the flowers in this top section and then we also have a whole bunch of these quad cubes in here as well there are 74 quad cubes throughout to be exact um, I did count uh, there is another kit that came out recently called dreaming crystals I believe um, and it's the exact same dimensions as this it's just lengthwise instead of height wise um, so but it had more diamonds on it than this one did I did the math in order for it to compute there needed to be 74 quad cubes sure enough that's what it is so um, I, I am strange I need to know things about numbers like that but anyways love 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 the detail in the flowers here at the top and then of course we have our little fairy in this bright section here and we have our other rose fairies um, sitting in her hand the one flying on the leaf over there and then this one with the beautiful hairdo going on up here and then I'm not sure if you saw it or not, but I did do a time lapse when I completed her actual face and body and hair area. And I was so excited to do that part. I feel like they did a really great job with the rendering and I feel like she just turned out so incredibly beautiful. Um, one thing that I do need to remind myself is these are meant to be seen from a distance. So when I have her hanging on the wall and I look at it from a distance, everything looks amazing. But, you know, when you get up close and you see that there are, you know, just kind of some L shapes for the eyes on the fairies, you know, there's not a lot going on. That's not how this is meant to be viewed. It's meant to be viewed from a distance and and you also don't see huge issues with gapping or anything like that from a distance, which there's not a, hu a lot of huge issues with that in this as well. But um, I also like the, the dark lines that came through here for the branches and then her dress, all of these flower petals in her dress. I just, I loved these colors these colors were fabulous to work with all of these pinks and maroons and everything i loved that about that section and then we come down here to the bottom i want to make sure i get it all in screen i hope that i am um and we have then our water section with our three little fairy water nymphs or mermaids whatever you want to call them um, but just a very this is some very dark drills down here in the corners um, but then we all have all of those bubbles and the light blues in here as well so um, this was a huge huge project so I haven't mentioned the size of it yet or anything but it is 25.6 inches wide and 51.2 inches long or 65 by 130 centimeters so this is a large large canvas there are a hundred and thirty five thousand nine hundred and forty six square diamonds on the entire thing this is by far the largest project that I have completed to date so it is <laughs> It is a big one. Um, I technically kitted this up on the 
2nd of May. And then I did start doing a little bit of work on it on May 7th, but I only worked on it for five days and then I was working on some other projects. So I stopped working for about 13 days and then put in 15 days of work, stopped for another couple of days to work on another project and put in eight days of work. So it was a total of 28 days and I recorded about 126 hours. I am sure that there are a few hours more than that that I just didn't get recorded because the way that I record my time is um, not always the most accurate, but I try. So I do feel like that is a pretty good estimate of how many hours it took me to actually complete. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it, it was a big project and I was going through it really well and really enjoying myself and things were going pretty smoothly and things like that. And I did that time lapse of her and then I got into this section and I suddenly just kind of lost my motivation. Um, I think I was just kind of getting tired of being on the same canvas for a while. And the thing that, that, that surprises me is there is so much color blocking within these flower petals of her dress that this part was actually going pretty quick. I was completing the section relatively quickly, but I, I think that it was just, you know, I'd been working on this for so many hours and it had just been so long that I was kind of starting to get a little bit worn out. That's one of the times that I took a break and went to a different canvas and then came back. And by the time I came back to it, that really had re-energized me and I was able to complete it. Um, one of the other hardest parts was completing this bottom section. And that is just because of these dark, 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 dark colors in this corner and this corner as well. Um, there's also is a lot of color blocking here, but it was the colors that I had the most trouble with by far. Um, they were colors I had identified early on as being problematic, and so it was really hard and frustrating, but I was also just at the point where I wanted to get done with it, so I was trying to just pick out the worst of the worst of the drills and lay them down the rest to get it done. Um, so I think that these sections, I, I think that they look fine in, in the long run, but um, I think that they could look even better if the drills lined up a bit better and, and just weren't so problematic. And so I'll, I'll talk to you about some of those here in a second. Um, so I did use the Elizabeth Ward style containers when kitting up. And this is what I have left. So you can tell if it is, you know, a, a large container that this would have had a lot of drills in it originally. And of course the small ones probably didn't have very much in them. So I, I never did run out of any colors, um, but I did have issues with some as well. Um, this was the same color in two separate containers that I had and then I spilled a bunch so I put the spilled ones in here in case I needed any extras but you can see I had plenty of extras left over. Um, I tried to mark the worst colors with a little piece of washi tape on the bottom. This one was awful as you can see 939 and that was one of those colors that was in that dark section at the bottom it was also within the roses at the top especially in the upper left and right corners and i believe like those um, branch lines as well unfortunately on this one black was another one i really struggled with and you can see i hardly have any black left in there as well i do still have some but not a lot. Uh, 311 was pretty troublesome as well, but I have some left there. This one, 550, I was surprised at how awful it was. And this is all that I have left. There is hardly any drills left. I was really afraid that I was going to run out of these. Um, and if you can look in there, there's just not very many left at all. 
this one was really bad. It, it really was. There were just so many tabs on it. Uh, 814, this was the only red one, I believe, that I had a lot of tabs and a lot of issues with. And I think those were the primary ones that I marked as being really bad. Um, so speaking of bad drills, I made this for my trash drills. As you can see, I labeled it with trash and it is completely full of trash. So I had to go on to making a second container to hold my trash and this one is already half full i could probably combine these two to have a full this thing would be completely full if i combined them um this is a huge canvas 136,000 diamonds there's a lot of different colors so it maybe shouldn't be super surprising that i have this much trash but i still am surprised that i have this much trash I should dump some out in a tray just to kind of show you what some of my issues are. So I'm not sure how well this is actually going to translate over to the phone, but um, on this one, there's a pretty obvious tab on the top of it. And I had that issue with a lot of them. I can see a tab on that one. Can you see the distortion on this one right here? Um, this one's misshapen. We've got an extra tab there. Here on this blue one, you can also see the extra tab. So, you know, it was pulling all of them out like that there's also was a bunch of random things in there like this piece of plastic that didn't even match the color it was just in there <laughs> and that just always causes problems when you shake out your tray so it was mostly tabs that were the problem uh you can see on let's see if i can get the my pointer out right on like these two green ones there just were these black dots on top that i didn't like oh that one really shows the black dot really well um so oh this was just another piece of random trash on the tip of my pen at this point so here's just a a big black blob you can also see kind of on all of these that are lined up here in a row those extra tabs they all appear to kind of be going to the right actually there so um i think that at times i can be overly picky about my drills i do but when i am multi-placing and i'm working with square drills especially i feel like i need to be especially picky or the drills are not going to line up well i'm not going to be able to multi-place and it just looks bad so that's one of the reasons why i am a bit picky however i also eventually i get to a point where it's just like well i think this is as good as it's going to get and i'm just going to have to deal with the fact that these shapes are uneven because that's something that i would run into too where some of the drills would be smaller or larger than the surrounding drills um or just completely misshapen, you know, they're not squares, but they're, uh, oh, I can't think of the name of the types of squares that are not squares, but at an angle, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, so that was my issue with the trash drills. Um, so I'm going to set these to the side, but then I'm going to talk to you about the special diamonds. So we had three fairy dust colors we had this green which is number 100 and you can kind of see it in the bottom there it's um it's a very natural green color kind of a neutral green so that was one of our ab's i obviously have some left of that so that's always great and then we had this pretty pink number 124 and i definitely have 
a bit left in this container as well. Not a lot, but plenty that I wasn't close to running out. And then as always, 141. Um, you can tell since I did use a large container that there was a lot of this on the canvas. And so I do have quite a bit of that left for any future blinging up I might want to do on another canvas. Um, but since 141 is in like every kit, I usually don't need to pull out this to bling things up. But, um, but I have some spares now in case I want to. Uh, and then we had two fairy dust. Um, we had this green fairy dust color and there wasn't a lot on it anyway, but there is a little bit left in that as well. And I should have mentioned at the beginning of this, I'm sorry if you can hear my bulldog snoring in the background. She found her comfy spot. She's sleeping. She's snoring. I'm sorry. I hope it doesn't bother you. Um, okay. Continuing. Then we had this pinkish, uh, fairy dust color that was a really fun and pretty pink color and I definitely had plenty of that left as well really like that pink and then of course we had our quad cubes and I actually do have just a few of those left over as I said there were 74 of them on the canvas so trying to show you where those went So we do see some fairy dust and some uh, of the pink AB within some of these roses. They're only within the lightest roses, definitely not in these dark colors, um, but they are, there's mostly I'm seeing the fairy dust up here in these sections. There is a little bit of the pink AB up here here is some more of that fairy dust. And we see more in these roses as well, um, as well as some of the AB and pink fairy dust in here. Um, we also have some of that green fairy dust going around this fairy to highlight her. And of course, the white is all over. We have a lot of the white in these strings of lights as well as the quad cubes, just kind of going through all of those arcs that we have here and then these bright starburst points. So moving up a little bit, we have some more of that uh, green fairy dust in this guy's little uh, leaf flower or leaf thing um, and then we have some of that green AB here we also have some of the green AB there and coming off of her kind of highlighting just that brightness as well um, we see some of the pink fairy dust in her hair and then in her rose we have pink fairy dust, pink AB, as well as the white AB in here. So there was a lot going on within her hair. And then we have some of that green AB shooting off of her dress there and also highlighting this green, th this brightness um, reflecting off of the, the light or magic coming off of this fairy. And we have... Um, the green AB over here, as well as this whole starburst there is that green AB. So is this line and these, and, and these little dots over there. Um, there's some white ABs throughout her hair and just kind of dotted all over. We have white ABs going along her hair as well. Um, and then we have a lot of white ABs speckled throughout her dress. And there's a bit of fairy dust and pink ABs speckled through the top, but then most of it is here in this bottom section. So we have a lot of the fairy dust and then the pink AB next to it in this area where her dress is just a bit lighter. Um, here is some of the fairy dust as well. 
you can see all of the white and especially in those bubbly areas and then we have more white AB down here when we get into the water so um, the last quad cube there's a quad cube here in her dress and a quad cube there in her dress otherwise the quad cubes are all at the top of this so I will do a pan over of the entire canvas to show you everything in detail and then I will insert a picture of the entire thing at the end as well so you can see all of it. You know, I didn't have any issues with the glue. The glue on the canvas was great and sticky throughout. Um, I did already mention the issues with the drills with you, but I didn't run out of any colors, even though I was fearful about it on especially one color, but a couple of the colors I technically did have enough. Um, you know, I, I started getting worn out a bit, but I got her completed and now I am ready to work on something new and I am still trying to decide exactly what I'm going to do to just kind of reset myself before I start working on the next big piece that I have planned which is a 110,000 diamond piece of art but it's one that I've been really wanting to do as well so I'm not going to let it intimidate me it's already kitted up I am going to do it I'm just going to insert a couple small things in here before I before I actually start on that one so um so yes there is magic roses what do you guys think do you like it um I don't know what I'm going to do with her I, I really don't she's so huge I might bring her to one of my schools and hang her there because I definitely will have the wall space for that type of decoration we shall see uh, this isn't one that I was ever planning on framing or doing like a poster board frame or anything with I just I just wanted to complete it I just wanted to see what it looked like done um, I thought that this was a great time of year to do it like I said I started it at the beginning of May I finished it now in June and the, you know with springtime and summertime and roses and 
you know, all of that wonderfulness, the brightness of the colors and the greens, it just felt like a good time of year to do something so bright and floral. Um, and to also complete one of the first kits that I ever got from Diamond Art Club. Um, my first order actually had four Diamond Art Club kits in it, and this was one of them, and this was the big one that I really, really wanted. Um, I did not have the experience to complete it when I ordered it, but it's one that I wanted and just dreamed about doing, and, um, you know, finally got around to doing it. So I think... I think I have now completed all four of the kits that were in that original order. I did. So that is really fun. This is the the final one for me to have completed from that order. So, um, so yeah. So now I need to go see what, what are my next oldest Diamond Art Club kits that I bought. So, um, yeah. Do you think that this is a project that you would take on? I know that there's somebody that sent me a comment um, who they bought this as well. And this artist also came out with another piece called Magic Autumn that I got because it's kind of a sister piece. It's not quite so huge. So that's great. But it's gorgeous. And it's a similar theme of um, a woman that is dressed beautifully. And she has this gorgeous hat i'll insert a picture here um and she's dressed in autumn leaves and i think that that one will be really fun to complete for in the in the fall um and then if i do hang this up at my school then i could put this one up for the spring summer months and then i could put up magic autumn in the fall and i could just kind of switch out and have a few pieces on rotation so Okay, I think that this has probably been a long enough post review, but that's what post reviews are for, is to go into a deep dive about the kits and the pros and cons and things like that. Not a lot of cons, uh, just some of those drills were frustrating and because of the size, it was overwhelming and I did get a little burnt out in the middle, but um, switching to another canvas helped that just to reiterate and I am so happy that I completed it. I think that she is gorgeous. Um, I don't really have have any issues with popping drills or anything like that the few areas that I ever found some kind of popping off they um it's it's like my fault you know I didn't line them up quite right and then once I push them back in they have stayed so okay all right, so that is going to be it for this video. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Magic Roses. Uh, if, if you think that you would like to complete something like this, or if you just like seeing uh, what it looks like for somebody else, uh, she is currently out of stock on Diamond Art Club's website. So if you are interested in getting her because she is gorgeous and she did create hours and hours and hours of diamond painting fun where I didn't have to stop and kit down and kit up and all of that good stuff. I was able to just kit this up and go um, and have days and hours worth of fun working on her. That's something that I did love about having such a huge diamond painting to complete. So anyway, sorry, I keep rambling and thinking about other things to say. So, um, but yes, Magic Roses by Yanovia Art. Um, it, it, it was, she is majestic. I love it. I'm so glad that I did it. So please, uh, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, would you please give it a like? If you would like to see more of my content as I create it, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you ever have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Also, always check my description box because I always put a lot of information in there as well. So, all right, that's going to be it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.